One of the project complexities was installing the acrylic glazing. We have a total of five panels, each ranging from three to 6,000 pounds. The largest one being behind me, which is 18 feet in length, um, spanning floor to ceiling. Probably one of the greatest parts of the project was putting it together uh, and experiencing its complexity in not only the installation, but making sure that it's watertight and holding the pressure, um, which required a lot of calculations on both the engineering side and the logistics on the site, being that it is a postage stamp site, um, craning and maneuvering within the site was, was, was daunting. Uh, the other interesting thing that we had to do with the acrylic, as it is a finished product, it was installed actually prior to the building being erected. So once concrete was completed, we installed the acrylic glazing by hoisting a, a smaller crane into the tank and then setting each panel one at a time. Early on, we did a BIM coordination, specifically gearing towards the back of house of the SEALS exhibit. From the sand filtration, protein skimmers, ozone generator, degas towers, there is a lot of piping associated with that equipment. But apart from that, electrically, um, controls, sprinkler, HVAC, the back of house was littered with equipment. Using both uh, the BIM model and ONG Industries MEP coordinator, we were able to complete this at a record pace while maintaining and having very limited conflicts uh, in, in the construction of it, which as a project manager is, is news to our ears. It's usually not the case when we're thinking about the project, how it comes together, but it, it really fell together uh, quite amazingly at the back of house area.